I'm a medical oncologist and I'm interested in insulin-like growth factors and their role in cancer biology. There are these proteins called insulin-like growth factors. They're a bit like insulin, but whereas insulin is important for regulating your blood sugar levels, IGFs are important for growth, normal growth and development, and also it turns out for cancer development. They seem to be important for affecting our risk of developing cancer and also for helping cancers to resist being killed by cancer treatments like chemotherapy, radiotherapy or other newer forms of treatment. As an oncologist I've been involved in some trials of pharma generated drugs that block the IGF receptor and although some patients have undoubtedly got a lot of benefit from these drugs, most patients haven't and most of the trials have been mixed or negative. And it's been really frustrating because I think a large part of this negativity is because the IGF receptor blocking drugs also inhibit the insulin receptor, which is closely related, and that causes dose-limiting hyperglycemia temporary diabetes, if you like. And so there's a question as to how effectively the IGF axis was actually blocked in those trials. So where the Harrington project comes in is helping us to develop new ways to induce IGF blockade, ways hopefully that don't compromise glucose metabolism. Without the Harrington Discovery Institute, we would be much less adept at taking the ideas that we have that are initially being evolved in an academic laboratory towards a direction that we can generate a drug that we can use to treat patients with cancer. And I think the support of the Harrington Institute is really helping us focus on this end goal. Obviously, there are the academic targets as well, but the end goal to develop a drug that we can test in patients, that's something that's really exciting.